You want to add mods to your simple game hosting server, and that's what you're going to be doing in this video. First things first, we want to go to the server console here. Make sure your server is selected, and then we want to stop in the bottom right down here, the server. The reason we're doing that is because we want to make sure the server is offline when installing the mod loader onto the server. Go to the Mod Packs tab up here at the top, and then go to the Version Manager. This is where we'll be able to select the mod loader that we want to use and install it. Now, what is a mod loader? Well, that is NeoForge. Forge and Fabric. Those are all mod loaders and the one you choose depends on the mods you want to use. For example, if you're using Forge mods, you'll want Forge. If you're using Fabric mods, you'll want Fabric. And if you want Neo Forge mods, well, you'll use Neo Forge. You have to be using the mod loader for the mods you want to install in order for them to work on the server. Now for this video, we're going to be using Forge, but this will work for any Minecraft mod loader of the three that we mentioned there. So NeoForge and Fabric will also work. Let's go ahead and install Forge by clicking on install, clicking on install again, and now we'll go ahead and install Forge onto our server right like so. Once it's successfully changed, you'll be able to see that here, version successfully changed, and you can see that your current version is Forge 1.21.1. Awesome stuff, and that'll be whatever Forge version you select. You do want to make sure you're selecting the correct Minecraft version here as well. So for example, if you wanted an older version of Forge, we could go over here to the next page and get like Forge. 1.19.2 and we have even older versions as well. Nonetheless, once the version is installed, we can go back to the console tab and start the server. The server will go ahead and start right on up and once it is online here, we will be able to install the mods. How do we do that? Well, we go to the file manager and then we will have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, make sure you started the server. You can also just make one with the create directory up button up here and typing mods and hitting create. Nevertheless, open up the mods folder and you want to upload any mods you want to install here. So we're going to go ahead and upload these. Now we're going to be using Journey Map and Spark for this, but this will work for any mod you want to install. Just make sure the mods you're installing are for the correct mod loader, in our case Forge, and the correct Minecraft version, 1.21.1. But again, this will work for any version or any mod loader. Same process, upload the mods to the mods folder and you are good to go. Now all we need to do is go back to the console tab and restart the server by clicking this restart button. Now, you're not done. You still need to install these mods locally, meaning that any mods you install on the server also need to be installed in your local mods folder, and you'll also need the mod loader installed locally as well. I'm going to go ahead and do that, but we do have an in-depth guide linked back here on how to basically install the mods locally on your computer right here at the bottom playing mods on your server. This goes everything you need to know to get the mods installed locally and do all that stuff to be able to join the server. But once you've done that, we will be able to join. Let's go ahead and do it. So we can see here that the mods are in fact installed, Spark and Journey Map, and now we can join the server. The cool thing about Simple Game Hosting Service is just like any other server, you can go to multiplayer and add the server with the IP address that we basically got from the panel, and then we can double click and join right on in. It's that easy to get mods added to your server. And we can see Journey Map is in fact active and we can check Spark with Spark TPS just to see if we need to be opt for that to work. But there you have it. That's how you can add mods to your server. If you have any questions, let us know on live chat in the bottom right of every page on the website. There is live chat there to help you out.